Skirmish, come and get me, you coward. See, <laughs> that Lannister army is like seriously confused right now because it desperately wants to get over to the Lannisport, but it cannot make it this turn. Our prince has been severely weakened against the guard and the prince. And now would probably be when, uh, when bloody fucking uh, Aaron decides to attack me. Ew. Uh, we lost again. Not good, people. Not good. Like I said, I oh shit, the warrior son is here. Okay, we're definitely going to need Harren the Black's assistance over here, and that's going to leave me open to attack from Aaron. The second you leave Harren Hall undefended, the Aarons attack literally like every single second because the AI desperately wants to get to these settlements that are like really weak looking. Even if you have an army that's like a little bit farther away. But yeah, we're going to need some assistance from these guys. But for now, because we, we can't defend Stony Sept with this little tiny army. So what we can do is go over here and defend Pink Maiden. And what we can do is block off Lannister's advance. And of course, the warrior's son is going to take quite a while to get this half over here. My fucking mouse is like sticking and lagging everywhere. I need to buy a new one. But yeah, we're going to stupidly move Harren the Black out of Harren Hall. And probably going to get attacked by somebody in the vicinity. But what we'll do is start recruiting troops there immediately. And hopefully the Lannister, the Arons won't see this as a fucking goddamn mouse. <laughs> they won't see this as a fucking goddamn mouse. It's like sticking and lagging everywhere. It's like a, it's like laser. It's a laser mouse and everything, but it's fucking like this kind of shit. Need a new one. I do. But there you go. We can kill Devon Lannister, who for some reason isn't a family member. I think that's a problem with the. Uh, Rivers family tree that he made. I didn't do Lannister. I did. I've done Stark, Bolton, Martell, Yornwood, and Targaryen. Megals has done, or Megs has done, Aaron. Uh, Rivers has done Lannister and Gardner, and Yuri did Hoar. Now we can either ex like destroy the populace or get 20,000 cash from taking Lannisport. And I'm thinking taking, yeah, just burning it to the ground. Yeah, Kaiser. Who's my least favorite general? This guy. Okay, so we'll... Well, not least favorite, but least useful. Because he's not going to be able to escape, I don't think. No, no, he would be able to escape. Sweet. Okay. So we can just sort of put this guy here, which blocks off that Lannister assault. We might actually just want to, like, bug out of Lannisport. Really. It might be a good idea to bug out of Lannisport. We might have to leave Black Tide behind. <laughs> we might have to leave Black Tide to his fate and just go down the coastline, continue to fuck up everyone. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think we'll leave him in in land sport for now. See, like I said, we still have to deal with the fucking. Warrior son over here, and this mouse keeps lagging. I'm gonna fucking there's gonna be blood, okay? If this mouse keeps sticking all over the place, there will be blood. More so than I've already spilled all over the Westerlands. Oop, the warrior son has decided to completely and utterly bypass me at Stony Sept. That's the thing, the warrior sons and the gardeners do have a certain understanding, so they're like decent friends in an aspect. Especially since the host of the two kings and everything, and they did have an official alliance. I'll be able to... As long as Lannister doesn't show up with any other forces. See, he managed to just sneak past that fortifications that I made. But he can't get past those ones, so fuck him. We are under siege. But the AI is a lot stupider than a player is. So a player can get around a fort that you've screwed up on a lot easier than anyone else will be able to. Seriously, the mouse. Fucking annoying me now. <laughs> Especially in a strategy game, you want the mouse to actually do what the fuck you're telling it to do. Like, yeah, click there. They are doomed now, Kaiser. Be close for battle. That was risky. 
See, we could retreat, go further south, and continue to kick Lannister ass. But, uh, well, we do not currently have the troops to attack there. But, like I said, we just taken Lannisport, so what we can do now is focus entirely on building more fucking troops. See, that is my tactic for the Ironborn, for, for the Hoa, and that's what I recommend you guys do if you play the mod. Is to focus entirely on looting and then using the money that you've gained from looting to build troops as fast as you fucking can. Because that's what it comes down to. You need this money to recruit troops as fast as you possibly can and continue to kick some serious fucking ass. But what we'll do, send these fleets up here to the Iron Islands to secure all of this. Send these guys down here to blockade this fort. These guys should already... They don't need to blockade that fort, do they? Yeah, fleet ready. Yeah, Kaiser. Yeah, fleet ready. Yeah, those guys will stick there for now. Uh, what we'll do, probably, I don't know. We'll keep these guys handy for now. They might come in handy. Um... Who is in here? Just the faction there, and maybe the king as well. Because I haven't seen the king and the, the king and the rock just yet. We've still got the warrior sons here, who's quite formidable, and he's got a straight shot for pink maiden. So what I may do is Holy pull Kaiser. the fuck back to River Run. I wait for King Harry and the show up. And unfortunately, we cannot leave this fort. Because <laughs> I was planning just leaving the fort and then he can't get to me. But the warrior son is probably going to lay siege. In which case, we probably could have used the prince over here to assist if necessary. Fortunately, he has no movement points. So I've kind of screwed myself royally there. If it, what happens, happens. Because I think it is going to. The Arons are arriving with some serious firepower. The second that I leave Harren Hill undefended. The AI sends it like a shark to blood kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, we'll go to the next turn and see what the fuck happens. Yep, Pipe Lord Piper is dead. Or Pippa, whatever the fuck the name is. Piper is probably the better name than Pippa. Pippa! Pippa. <laughs> but now that Lannister the army is still stuck there because they don't have any fucking, like, uh, ships at all. I dropped the pen again. Nope, stop dropping the pens. Yeah, because they don't have any ships, that entire army is just sort of sitting there. And for some reason, because the AI is so stupid, it is not going to attack the coast. Because it wants to get down here and take Lannisport back. It's what it wants, but I won't fucking let it do that. Oh, oh, click on the fleets. Yeah, Kaiser. Breaking up the fleet. Oh, this Kaiser. Yeah, yeah sending Kaiser. all my fleets Leaving to different locations yeah. to get fleet the ready. lowdown on all the troops. Where the hell? You're supposed to go over there, you yeah, dumb Kaiser. bastard. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Go Fleet over here. Yeah, it's a bad ship. But yeah, we should be able to build a considerably awesomely large army at the Iron Islands to... All we have to do is hold Lannisport, pretty much. And we'll have our forces in the next turn. Okay, we've got forces in there. What have we got in Pink Maiden? Um, we'll build some fucking shitty spear militia in Pink Maiden. Because you might need assistance against the warrior son, because he is quite the formidable general if you bump into him. Damn, damn this mouse. Anyway, uh, the plan is, or at least the plan might be, because we're probably going to get attacked by Stark the second that I executed. Is a flanking remover. Also, there's another thing, a little bug that we've got here. Why the hell? He's got the wrong fucking strat model for some reason. <laughs> 
And you may have noticed during the turn times that the Targaryen sigil doesn't pop up for certain factions, for whatever reason, on the turn thingy, on the UI. That's another problem, but what we'll do is take this army around here and deal some serious fucking damage to the Vale, while all these forces are coming to me. Now, the only thing about this is it will probably leave a gap open for Mr. Fur Stark to attack me. So we'll probably end up sending these ships back to their locations anyway, but we'll fucking see what happens. Like I said, we just want to cause as much damage to all of our enemies, and we are actually at war with Stark. We start off at war with Stark. Here's the uh, UI for certain fucking factions. Uh, I believe it's because this is a... Yeah. you got northeast factions, then southeast, and then northeast, and blah, blah, blah. But I haven't done the UI for all the fucking regions of factions, if you sort of modding language understand me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he's the Lord of Landisport. Look at that. It's quite funny. Anyway, um, I don't know. What do we do? 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 Just need to send forces over from the Iron Islands once we recruit them to kick some ass at Castle Rock. Because all those armies that we're recruiting at Castle Rock will be able to just act. Here comes the warrior son, ready to attack my fort for some reason, rather than the Stony Sept. See, that's what I mean. The AI is so fucking stupid that it sees an empty fort that's practically only got one troop. It's only got run one troop in it. And they think, my god, we must take this opportunity to attack the weakly defended location. Yeah, not really. You should probably just ignore it and attack the Stony Sept. Because that's what a player would do in that situation. He's already behind my fucking troops. The one thing I'm not quite unsure about is why the hell that Lannister army that's stuck behind my fort doesn't just lay siege to the fort like Rain's doing right here. Our settlement is under threat, Kaiser. We are besieged. I know, Kaiser. I know. <laughs> it's not my fault, you bastards. But yeah, uh, he can't get past this fort, but he's not laying siege to the fort for some reason. So it's like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you got both of the reins. Uh, I think that's the father, and this is his son. You notice they got the custom strap models. I don't take any credit for that, of course. Some other person with far more... Skill and uh, whatnot made all that. Let us strike, Kaiser. Hail, mein Kaiser. Kaiser. Ja, mein Kaiser. Holy Kaiser. There's one unit in here that is holding me up. Ah. Hail, mein Kaiser. Ja, mein Kaiser. Ah, uh, we'll go straight to Pink Maiden. Well, that River Run's now bitching about public order. Stop bitching, River Run. I have more pressing no. shit than your fucking problems right now. But yeah, what we'll do, keep him here. Uh, ah, if I could just move one fucking unit. One unit. Yeah, these guys. There you go. Now I have that fort. Suck it, Gardner. <laughs> it's mine now, bitch. We are victorious. Aaron has still not attacked, but they are like sort of looming on my borders. Threatened, like taunting me with their uh, with their annoyingness. Now the question is, can we get in here without? Because we'll quickly we'll know immediately if the AI is aware of my presence because these two armies will turn around immediately and attack me. So we will find out. We'll take Flint's finger, go around and deal fuck tons of havoc to the north. Um, do I have a diplomat of any description? Because what we'll do is like, no, we have a priest, which is not really helpful. Um, yeah. I'm just wondering if it's worth me getting out of Lannisport, attacking this idiot. The question is, can I make it back to Lannisport? No, but I can behind behind the force, which is fine. On the other hand, we do have some serious public order difficulties in thing. Ah, we can build a diplomat here. We'll build that. Because what I'm thinking is, if we're going into the north, I want to ally myself with Bolton. Yeah. At least I'll have an ally in the north then. We can count on Bolton to attack the Vale later on. So what we'll do, end the turn, see what happens. Garden is doing his stuff as usual. So yeah, by taking that fort, I've sort of trapped Mr. Gardener here. Although he keeps taking all my stuff. Stop taking my thoughts, Gardner. You're a douche.
I know, I know. Yeah, see, he is one awesome ass fucking general. See, I'm gonna have to like, um, I'm gonna have to change some of the traits and like stats for the gardener troops because they're all dreadful. And King Mern was like sort of not dreadful. He was just <sighs> idiotic gardener AI doing exactly the same thing that. Well, exactly what I thought they do, which is just go back and forth between those forts. Ah, I dropped the pen again. If you're wondering what the hell I'm doing with the pen, I'm just sort of like twiddling it in my fingers while I'm recording. <laughs> for some... Bored. Well, not bored. It's just, uh, without the battles, I don't really need to concentrate as much. Fuck me, that was another guard there, army, wasn't it? We can take that fort back, though. Although, we can once we lift the siege. We can take both of our forts back. We're just some peasant fucking units. But what I could do, quite easily, is just... Make that gardener troop go back and forth between the forts for as long as I wanted. Like, just back and forth, back and forth. The AI will continue to attack the forts for quite some time while I rebuild my troops. I have one gold. That is just fucking awesome. I have one gold. Ah, stop bitching. I have returned, people. I have returned. Well, I have had Lannisport for all of these turns now, so what I'm going to do... Now, that might have been a mistake, because, uh, it's just got some, like, serious drop in public order. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, I think, yeah, we would just, like, burn it to the ground. So what we'll do, fuck it, destroy the port, get a bit of extra cash, and... Take my troops back over here, where they can be some of better use, at least. <sighs> and uh, we'll just have to wait on the forces from the Iron Islands to show up. And Lord Greyjoy will be at their head. Yeah, yeah, Black Tide will join up with them as well. Yeah, fleet ready. Orders, Kaiser. Course plotted. Full sails. Yeah, Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser. Orders, Kaiser. Yeah, my Kaiser. Follow. Okay, Black Tide has command of that full army. Yeah, fleet ready. Orders, Kaiser. Full sails. Yeah. Oh, we may swap them around because Greyjoy is actually the, uh, the better general. Although Black Tide is quite considerably decent enough. We'll swap them around when they land on the coast. There's no point in me attacking that army, but that's like, uh, a full stack and a half. So we can easily take back Lannisport and then take Hasley Rock, hopefully. First things first is dealing with the bastards outside of Stony Sept. A nice clear victory. Execute the fuckers. Train the troops. Leave those guys there. Leave those guys there. And we take on the warrior son. With the assistance of my son over here. Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser. Say our doom to now, Kaiser. See, the warrior son is quite fucking formidable. Clear victory. Suck that bitch. And then he's left himself incredibly vulnerable inside the fortification. The only bad thing is the fact that we have an entire army right here on our doorstep. Hail, mein Kaiser! Laying siege, holy Kaiser! 
Uh, the question is, can we stand against Tali and all of his troops? Huh? Probably not. Huh? Like, probably most definitely not. You see, the main, like, hub of recruitment for the Ironborn is the Iron Islands. And that's how I want it. They can recruit in the Riverlands, but it is severely, like, diminished res uh, resources compared to the Iron Islands themselves. Stony Sept is rebelling. I'm just wondering what the hell Tali is going to do. He's probably going to attack. No, he's going to leave the warrior's son to his death. <laughs> okay. That's nice of him. He's such a kind and loving soul, Tali. There you go. Lannisport was under siege. It's fine. They can take that, and then I can take it again, and then sack it again, and get more money. Our settlement is under threat, Kaiser. We are besieged. Clear victory. The warrior son, one of the best generals that Gardener has, is dead. Or had, should I say? Your will. Yeah. Besieging the enemy. There you go, we'll take this other fortification. Tali will probably turn around and attack that now that I've left it as I have. We don't want the gods wood. Go continue to build decent sized force of troops at the Iron Islands to resupply, as it were. Actually, what we'll do is lead Black Tide to command the leftover forces. Because Greyjoy is the far better commander out of all of them. And he can sail towards. These guys and assist. Yeah. Fleet ready. Seriously, come on. Select. Go the bike. Yeah, Greyjoy and Black Tide will lead the forces out of Pike later on. Uh, I'll leave these guys here. We've got Malister over here, who's going to attack Flint's finger because it's pretty much undefended. And then we'll take ship again and go around. Course plotted. The winds have failed us today. We go. Ja, Kaiser. Moving out. Ja, Kaiser. The Arons don't appear to have uh, noticed our little incursion into their lands just yet, but that doesn't mean they won't become aware of it the second that I lay siege to the fuckers. Anyway, what we'll do is end the turn. Stony Scepter goes back to normal. I got those two princesses sitting out, uh, outside Stony Heart. Yep. Okay. Now the Arons are aware of my location. <laughs> I might be able to take fucking cold water though before they can do anything about it. And then I'll give it to Bolton. <laughs> and then that will force them to go to war with each other. Speaking of Bolton. Oh, I uh, completely forgot about all that. Anyway, we've lost one of those forts outside of River Run. That's fine. They'll continue to waste troops trying to take the fortifications around Lannisport. We are under siege. Trying to take those fortifications as well, that's fine. As long as that big ass Lannister stack doesn't use its brain, then uh, we'll be fine. Kaiser, the enemy waits outside the walls. It is a siege. Okay, I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do that. Go out of the fort and then back into the fort. Cause it, and then attack River Run. Because I'm not going to be able to get troops over there in time. So we're going to probably lose River Run. And then have to take, take it back again. We are besieged. Where's he Against a player. I wouldn't have left it undefended as like I did. Or what I probably should have done is... The, the big, that's the thing. The bigger threat here 
is Gardner because they're more powerful. So I don't really want to send the king all the way over here. But we're going into a fast amount of debt now. Kaiser. Order forward. Full set. Kaiser. Order clock. Order set. Yeah, Kaiser. Kaiser. We're going to even more debt once we get all these troops together. Combining fleets, Kaiser. And honor, Kaiser. Yeah, my Kaiser. Order set. Yeah, fleet ready. But it doesn't matter because we'll make the money back quite easily. There we go. Young Greyjoy will uh, head towards the Westlands with his father. Fleet ready. Course plotted. Who to crush, Kaiser? Your will. Orders, Kaiser. Yeah. Orders, Kaiser. Yeah. Um. It's a question of what's more important, uh, Lannisport or Thingy, and the answer is Lannisport. Although we're probably going to lose that port now, which isn't very good, but still, we have another half a stack and another full stack. So this half a stack can deal with any uh, leftover forces that are remaining. And then in the next turn, we shall hopefully let him. Hopefully, they'll like take fucking Lannisport. Because the public order is just going to be a bitch until we lose it and take it again. So I'll stick it on very high. Hopefully, it will rebel and then we can take Castle Rock. Hmm. <sighs> Now, the amount of forces that I've beaten this shit out of... Did I forget to move my troops in the Vale? I don't know. There's so many troops all over the place. Especially with the commentary, it gets confusing. <laughs> and I could sort of like forget the individual unit that's like way on the other side of the map. That crap. They're going to take Riverrun. My prince will be able to lay siege to it and take it in the next turn, though. So it's not a loss, really. We're going to take it right back. Lannister is going to take Lannisport. I am absolutely fine with that. They can have it Kaiser, for all I care. The it is a siege. Now, knowing the AI, they'll flock to Riverrun. Because it's like uh, the best location that they have against me. Rising in Lannisport. Yeah, yeah, I know. It is doesn't matter. It's kind of important to keep that fort because it's the only defensive location I have against them. We'll keep you in there for now, and you can take River Run in the next turn. Brax will probably go into River Run, actually, if he knows what's good for him. Salt Pans being a bitch. You can go to low tax, you station, you little bastard. Okay, let's not forget about our guys up over here. See, we've sort of opened ourselves up to getting attacked by Aaron now, but I just want to, like, do the stupid ironborn tactic of just fucking making enemies of everyone because we can. Holy Kaiser. Kaiser. Yeah. Fleet ready. Okay, yeah, we'll take Rills, Baratown, and then swing around, take Bear Keep and everything, and just fuck up Stark's forces as best we can. See, we've we've opened ourselves up to getting attacked by fucking yeah, fleet ready. Yeah, by Aaron when we. When they were relatively neutral before, so it probably wasn't the best move that we could have made. I definitely wouldn't have made it in a hot seat. Orders, Kaiser. Move ashore, men. Now, yeah, Kaiser. Yeah, Kaiser. 
They are doomed now, Kaiser. Be close for better. Hopefully we can win this battle. Yeah. We'll bring in reinforcements just because I really, really need to win it. Yeah, Kaiser. 